guys welcome back to my channel this will be a reading for the month of august on the chosen four groups and i'll show them to you in just a minute but i just wanted to say blessed llamas to any of my witchy friends out there who know what that is if not um happy midsummer <laughs> um if you're living in the northern hemisphere and happy midwinter if you're living in the southern hemisphere <laughs> i'm drinking some chamomile tea in celebration of lamas i also love that i i was supposed to film it yesterday but i kind of got carried away with some things and then i'm filming it today the second of august and then tomorrow will be the third which is also a full moon um so yeah that's pretty exciting happy full moon um and blessed llamas I will show you the groups right now and give you a second to meditate on them with crystals and without and then we can get into it all right here are your four groups group number one group number two group number three group number four this is a raw rainbow fluorite this is a tumbled red jasper this is a tumbled um, turquoise, <laughs> and this is a raw citrine. All right, so I'll give you a minute to meditate on these cards with crystals, and then I'll take the crystals off for those of you who like to meditate that way. All right, and here are the cards without crystals. Turned on a little extra light so that my camera could focus, but for group number one, those of you who chose the um, bra rainbow fluorite, I love rainbow fluorite. It's like one of my favorite crystals. So pretty. This reading is for you. All right, so this is your reading group one for the month of August. All right, I'm already seeing so many things I want to pick up on and talk about, but I'll start with where I start the reading, which is the Ace of Wands. This card is all about new beginnings, new passionate beginnings. This could be a new job, a new relationship, a new um, focus, new study new career it just symbolizes a lot of new and the feeling i'm getting while reading it is a lot of excitement i feel like this month is going to be an exciting one for you um the queen of wands i feel like whatever this is maybe you're mastering something maybe you're coming to an end maybe you're graduating could be something like that for some of you for some of you i just see like this is definitely what you the goal you want um to come out very strong in whatever new co new um concept this is so whether it be a job or relationship or whatever it is you want it to be something that lasts i can definitely see that for you with this card all this um clarity at the bottom so i definitely feel like for some of you this has been um a long-awaited new uh, passion something you've had clarity about for a long time now but maybe you're just now pursuing it um, the next card I read in your reading uh, or next card I pulled I should say is the three of swords and this is all about heartbreak betrayal obviously you can see she's been stabbed in the heart it also could just be um complacency maybe you've had so many things that you've 
been passionate about or so many things that you've tried that just didn't work out um, that were kind of like heartbreaking setbacks. I definitely feel that for you, that for a lot of um, you watching that this could definitely be that you just had too many pots on the stove, too many things that you were focused on at once. Whereas now, this new thing, you want to put all your focus into it. If this is a new relationship, maybe you've been heartbroken a lot before. Um, I definitely see that with this card for sure. And I'll talk about some more of the colors because this definitely comes into play. But the next card I pulled was Five of Swords. And for some of you with this card, I definitely felt like an old job ended badly. For some of you, if this is a new job... Your old job ended badly, and maybe that has you feeling nervous. Maybe an old relationship really hurt you, and so now you're nervous about whatever this is. Um, feeling, you know, just afraid that old wounds will affect these new passions. But I just want to tell you that that worry is not necessary. This is a whole new situation you're going to be getting into in August. And this old baggage doesn't need to affect you anymore. You don't need to hold on to it anymore. Maybe an old coworker, boss, was really mean to you or hurt you, hurt you a lot. Maybe attacked you, didn't think you were good enough. Things like that. I want you to know that you are. This color in the middle matches the colors here. <laughs> You had to go through whatever this was to acquire the skills and the patience that you have now to be successful in whatever this new passion is. And then the next card I pulled was the Ace of Swords. And this is very much just like the Ace of Wands. New ideas, new creative endeavors. Maybe you're getting really creative. Um, maybe you're actually, for some of you, I could definitely see you being your own boss so that could be like an etsy store um just any kind of entrepreneurial energy like you're starting your own creative path that could potentially bring you a lot of money or is already bringing you money this month oh wow yeah <laughs> and the next card that i pulled was the world and i just feel like that whatever this is brings you so much peace and happiness and love it's your it's your um go-to thing whatever the, this passion passion is it's your go-to thing to relax your go-to thing to feel centered i love that keep meditating if you are meditating keep meditating and if you're not you should i feel like it, it really helps with creative processes like this one that you might be in right now um and yeah i just feel like i have such a good energy with that that I feel like if you keep meditating and keep putting that self-work in to this passion you're gonna get so much more out of it and oh my goodness there's so much symbolism I want to get into so I'm like trying to <laughs> go through the cards three of cups friendships relying on people you trust taking time this month to spend time with your friends to maybe go out with your friend i mean obviously we can't really go out right now but have small get togethers with your friends in safe <laughs> distance safe proximity hmm. sorry if you can hear my neighbors they're kind of yelling they're a bunch of little kids <laughs> but i definitely see like consoling friends this time of month talking to your friends about your goals getting it out loud is what i'm hearing that you need to get it out loud say it out loud in form of manifestation let your friends know your plans and learn about their plans i feel like taking care of your friendships this month will be very beneficial and strength i think this is i think this goes a lot especially because it's right next to this card these two cards it goes with letting go of the past having the strength to move forward and do what you always wanted to do pursue this new passion um 
and just having the strength to let go of relationships with coworkers or friends or maybe even some of you are just newly out of a relationship it's the strength to move on even for some of you i could see like somebody maybe have passed on recently and you're 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 this month will you'll definitely be um coming out of that and grieving and things like that grieving old relationships that are gone but having the strength to keep going keep pursuing this passion that makes you feel so peaceful and alive and like you're on top of the world <laughs> literally <laughs> um and then i really wanted to talk about the symbolism before i get into your last two cards i feel personally like you yourself could be a fire sign so that's aries leo sagittarius or i feel like you could be an air sign so gemini libra aquarius um if there was an ex relationship that you're leaving friendship um boyfriend girlfriend or coworker job i feel like that person could be an air sign or a fire sign as well i find it very interesting that these you maybe had this creative idea during this time, but never really had the chance to pursue it until now. And I love all this fullness. Lots of fullness. There's a, there's a bunch of clear orbs here. Let me pull this up so I can show you. But these three cards have a lot of fullness um, symbolism. You can see these circles, clarity here. And then the full moon. I have a feeling that you pursuing your friendships, the relationships you do have, and these passions, this passion that you're seeking, is going to bring you a lot of fullness. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Alright, so moving on to your astrology card, I always ask for either planetary guidance or um, planetary guidance astrology signs or timelines and for yours i got a planetary energy neptunus which is all about the sea the ocean maybe your passion involves the ocean or maybe this is just calling you to go to the beach relax if you can wherever you are but also what neptunus re represents is pearls of wisdom and creativity so that could be what this passion is a pearl of wisdom and creativity that you've found um it's all about seeking creative new the ocean is such a mystery and there's a, um, a bunch of things haven't been discovered in the ocean and that's kind of what this card represents this energy this planetary energy represents a lot of the unknown mysteries and also finding trinkets and treasures within the mystery so i have a feeling that whatever this new thing is maybe you've been nervous about it but don't be <laughs> don't be because this is absolutely going the way it's supposed to and if it feels like new territory now it won't always feel that way you will eventually really hone in on it whatever it is all right and then i always pull for the last card a message from your spirit guide from the higher source from god the universe whatever you believe it's kind of just an affirmation or a mantra that you could say to yourself during this month that could bring you some peace um, and guidance When I don't know what is happening, I choose to be curious and excited about what is going to be. I love that. That fits so well um, with this entire, especially what I was just saying about Neptunus. Alright, I don't think I sense anything else, so thank you so much.
for watching and if you would like to schedule a private reading with me you can dm me on any platform or email me and i will let you know if i'm available thank you so much all right group two those of you who chose the red jasper sorry there's like eyeliner on my hand <laughs> so pretty though all right this is your august reading for those of you who pick group two Wow. Okay. So right off the bat, um, I haven't even got into the reading, but I can just tell from how many wands and fire sign energy is here that you or whoever this reading may be about is most likely a fire sign. So that is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments if you are a fire sign and you chose group two, because it's crazy how much fire sign is here. And I remember when I was shuffling it earlier today, these cards came out very quickly. They were like very aggressive. <laughs> so definitely in line with fire sign energy. But anyway, let's get started in the reading. So at the top and uh, the first card I read in your reading was the devil, which I feel like people always get very freaked out by this card, <laughs> but really... What it means is that there is some type of temptation in your life that could be distracting you right now. Maybe a relationship with somebody else that is distracting you from more, more important things. So maybe a not so serious relationship that you're kind of wasting your time on. Or it could be a passion project that you're wasting time on. Or it could be just anything that's like... Maybe you're going out when you shouldn't be going out, spending money when you shouldn't be spending money, things like that is what this card really represents. Also with the Page of Wands, this is all childlike energy, so sometimes it can be a little bit immature. So maybe whatever you're spending your time doing is just like a little bit um, misleading from your path. This also could mean that you need to take time to be selfish. Sometimes it's a very selfish energy where it could be immature and things like that. But sometimes it also means stepping away from these distractions and focusing more on yourself. It's playing the flute. I believe that's the flute. <laughs> but maybe this could be the clarity that you need to start doing something selfish for you that you enjoy. That really betters you. So instead of going out and partying on the weekends or going out with this other person that's distracting and all these things, you should be instead putting that energy or that money or that time towards a passion that betters you. Learning something, maybe an instrument, since she is playing music, could be music, could be something else, could be studying, studying a new, um, gosh, idea, a new... This definitely has to deal with creativity, though. So I, I almost said business, but that's not quite it. It's more art. Maybe you need to put your time into art, music, school, things like that. That are more creative for the mind. The next, oh gosh. <laughs> the next card I pulled was the Two of Wands. And yeah, this kind of just reiterates what I just said, is you have a choice to make here between, um, you know, letting this temptation, this person, this activity that you've been wasting your time on dictate your life, or choosing to go a different route, spend your time more wisely, doing things that are more creative and more beneficial to you as an individual, rather than, you know, impressing other people. I definitely get that sense oh gosh yeah and the two of swords 
she has this could be about a boy or a girl by the way you could be a boy or a girl or non-binary it has nothing to do with gender but she is blindfolded to the choice she doesn't want to make the choice she wants both she wants to stay complicit in her own you know temptations and her own demise sort of is like what i'm getting is that um you know this is a hard choice to make but it's a choice you have to make she can't have both without staying keeping her eyes shut for the problems that she's facing and regardless of whether she keeps her eyes closed she still has to choose she still has to make the choice I feel like almost keeping her eyes closed makes the choice on the, the side of um, this temptation, which is why it's right next to this card. Yeah, definitely reiterating that you have two twos. Um, a choice to make. The Emperor, this is all about power, taking your power back, authority, needing to self-govern yourself needing to hold yourself accountable for your actions yeah totally i feel like you need to step up into this energy this boss energy and really take a stand for yourself and choose you know it's you and your creativity or you and this manipulation and wasting of your time you could, you know, be running. Yeah. I see a lot of full, yeah, oh my goodness. I see a lot of circles, which always means fullness. Circles here too. So whatever this choice is, it's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. Yeah, a lot of fulfillment. To make this choice but you have to make it you can't um sit around thinking that it's gonna just fall into your lap or that you can you know sit by and get both you can't get both you can't be wasting your time with you know people that aren't good for you or situations that aren't good for you and and um acquire the things you want to acquire whether that be money creativity um or just fulfillment in general the next card i pulled was the five of wands which is all about power struggles so maybe if this is like a group of friends that you're hanging out with they're not gonna like you stepping away from them to take care of yourself i have a feeling that I have a feeling that if you're watching this and you chose this group, you're most likely a guy. Although this is a general reading, so not all of you are going to be guys, but I feel like a lot of you are. Or you're dealing with your guy friends that poorly influence you. Yeah, I feel like the power struggle here. I'll, if this isn't friends, if this is a job or if this is a relationship, you could definitely be having a to fight it out in a power struggle here between you and them to become better they may see it as selfish but it's not it's not you just can't progress as a person as the person that you're meant to be while wasting your time bottom line eight of wands lets me know that this choice is going to happen fast you're gonna have to make this choice quickly um Definitely within this month, obviously, because this is a month of August read. But I feel like a situation is going to come into play where you're really going to have to make this choice. Like, do I stick around with this group, with this person, with this job, whatever it is, um, and waste my time? Or do I make this quick decision to no longer indulge in this... Um, manipulation or temptation or waste of time whatever this is intemperance 
Oh gosh, I feel like they're, it's just so interesting how these two are on the opposite ends of each other because this is like fast action, doing, doing it now, like making this decision now. And this card, Temperance, is all about keeping the balance. Oops. Keeping the balance, keeping the peace. I love that's right next to the fighting card too. You want peace. I know you do. You want you don't want to you know have to leave your friends or leave this job. You don't want to have to step away from whatever it is that is distracting you. But I promise when you do, you're going to feel so much more at peace um, in that position than you would have if you stayed. This is you right now. I have a feeling you with your eyes shut, unwilling to make the moves you have to make. <laughs> and I have a feeling that when you do make those moves, this is what you'll be rewarded with. This, your own authority over yourself, peace, and the ability to thrive in whatever it is that you want to thrive in because you'll have the time again. You'll have the time again. The creativity will come to you. You won't have to be dealing with, you know, going out all the time, wasting your time, whatever it may be. Yeah, I definitely feel this for you. All right, and for your astrology card, I always pull an astrology card just to let me know more about um, zodiac signs, planetary energies, or time frames. So this with this Aries card, it kind of lets me know that you could be an Aries or whoever you're having to leave or having to separate yourself from, separate, you know, for a good amount of time or how, whatever it is, could be an Aries. This also tells me that maybe, even though this is a fast decision that you have to make, that this could be a decision that affects from Leo season to Aries season. So that's a good amount of time. Good amount of time. And I would say, I would say most likely that it has more to do with the zodiac sign. So Aries as well is all about aggression, masculinity, um, war, things like that. So I definitely feel like you're going to be fighting some, some of your bros. <laughs> Um, or a male coworker, or maybe whoever in the relationship is more dominant, that's who this is going to be about. I definitely feel like it's going to be stressful, <laughs> not stressful, but just it's going to be a little bit difficult to tell these, these distraction, this person or situation, whatever, it is that you cannot be spending all your time with them anymore. You have to focus on you. And although that might lead to a little bit of confrontation, it'll be well worth it in the end, for sure. All right, and for your last card, I always pull a, an affirmation from the universe, from higher self, from God, whatever you believe. It's kind of just like an affirmation to go with your reading, but also a mantra that you could tell yourself throughout the month to make you, you know, um, something that you could just repeat that'll make you feel at peace. Something that you can repeat while you're meditating or what have you. And yours is, letting go creates space for me to receive. I love this card. It goes perfectly, perfectly with what you're reading. Or perfectly with your reading, I should say. Totally. Totally. Once you let go of whatever it is that is holding you back, you're going to be able to receive so much more. You'll feel so much more at peace. Butterflies also symbolize... Um, not just peace, but opportunities. So that could definitely be what's coming this month for you when you finally do make this decision to let go of everything that does not suit you any longer. 
So yeah, I hope this helps. If you need more clarification and you're looking to have a private reading with me, you can DM me on any of my platforms or you can email me. It'll be in the description below. Um, I also have Instagram, TikTok. So yeah, you can DM me on any of those platforms. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. All right, so for group number three, those of you who chose the tumbled turquoise, so, so, so pretty, this is your August reading. And you actually pulled two astrology cards, which usually doesn't happen too often unless it's relationship um, related. And while I was pulling your cards, I did realize, did see some signs that this could be about a relationship i definitely feel that for this reading Alright, so for group number three, I definitely, definitely think this is about a relationship and I will get into the reasons why <laughs> as we go along. But the first card I pulled was the unknown card. So I definitely feel like if you are, whew, I can get this up, oh my goodness. Alright, so the unknown card is kind of like the wild card of the deck. But in this case, I really do believe that something's just not clear to you yet. So maybe you're not aware that this relationship is um, going to become a romantic one this month. So maybe this could be like a friend that you just haven't really looked at in a romantic way yet, but that you might. Or it's somebody in your life already that you do have feelings for but you're just not sure if they're ready for a relationship if you're ready for a relationship things like that it might just seem complicated right now and that's the unknown element of it let's just keep going so the king of wands i definitely feel like this could be that other person regardless of gender um i feel like they could be a fire sign so Leo, um, oh sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And this energy is very strong energy, passionate energy. Um, logical energy. Clarity. I definitely am hearing the word clarity with this card. So I feel like for those of you who aren't sure about this person yet, you will be this month. The clarity will come. Um, that energy that the King of Wands holds is very passionate, very romantic energy, strong energy, very compassionate um, gestures, Ace of Cups. As I said, this is one of those cards that kind of gives it away. A new relationship will begin this August if it hasn't begun already. Um, the cup is full. There's so much love here. This is a very exciting card. I definitely feel it with the reading that this is like exciting, new love, new relationship, things like that. I have a feeling that one of you has put in a lot of work for this relationship. I don't know if it's you since the unknown card is there or if it's this other person. Somebody has definitely gone out of their way <laughs> to get noticed um, by the other person within this relationship that will be or is just beginning. And I think that's so sweet. I think that energy needs to continue. It needs to be equal. So if you are, you know, unsure about this relationship, just put some work, just put a little bit of, you know, effort into it and see what happens. You might be surprised. You might be surprised at what happens. Could be, you know, <laughs> the relationship starting, as I said. Um, for those of you who are single, this could also mean um, somebody is coming into your life. 
that could lead to a potential relationship. The unknown part could be the fact that you don't know them yet. So look out for them this month. They might be a fire sign. <laughs> they also might be an earth sign. There's a lot of earth sign energy here. So you could be an earth sign. He, oh wow. No, absolutely. <laughs> the Leo and the Capricorn. I don't, I haven't even gotten into these cards yet and I will get there towards the end of the reading, but I see a Leo card and a Capricorn card here. Leo is fire and Capricorn is earth and there is fire and earth here. So I definitely feel like either you're a fire sign or they are a fire sign. One of you is fire, one of you is earth. I'm not sure who's who. Oh, wow. That's crazy. I love that. All right. And then the six of pentacles is all about hard work paying off. So yeah, whoever has put a lot of work into this relationship is finally going to see it come full circle and see this relationship bloom, blossom. You're going to reap um, the benefits of putting that energy in, in, whether that's you or them. Page of Pentacles is childlike, childlike energy, excitement, newness, um, fun. I'm getting like butterflies just talking about it. It's very new love, first love kind of feelings. <laughs> The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, this is such a great card to have in a reading, especially in regards to relationships, because it is all about good luck, having luck on your side, um, completion of cycles. Yeah, with the full circle right here, and the full circle right here, and the full circle here. Yeah, I definitely see. Oh my gosh, actually, when I look at it, there are so many circles. There's a circle in every card. Wow. There's a circle in every single card. Yeah, that just represents cycles coming. So your friendship is coming to a close and the relationship is now blooming. And for some of you who haven't met this person, you are going to meet them and have this cycle play out this month. I definitely see that for those of you who chose this group. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. And just to know, don't feel uncertain because you definitely have all, all the luck on your side to make this a very um, healthy and really beautiful relationship. I can tell <laughs> from just that card. But then also the Two of Cups. And this is all about relationships. Just reiterating basically what I said. He's putting water in her cup. He's compassionate. This is compassionate energy, loving energy, honeymoon phase energy. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, I feel like I could just keep branding, but I feel like I've made the point. Like, this is definitely a great reading to have <laughs> for those of you who are looking at one of your friends and seeing a connection there or for those of you who are single and looking to start dating again this is this month will be a really good time for that for sure all right and then as i said before i always pull my astrology cards to let me know about planetary energy zodiac signs or time frames so Leo and Capricorn, you could be a Leo or a Capricorn and they could be a Leo or a Capricorn. Or, for those of you who this doesn't apply to, since we're in Leo season right now, it could mean that you're going to meet this person and have this relationship play out between Leo season and Capricorn season, which is in January. So, that definitely could mean that if you're single right now, you're going to meet this person within this time frame. And for those of you who already know who I'm talking about, it's definitely going to play out in this time frame between now and Capricorn season. All right, and then for your last card, it is always a, I always pull a um, affirmation card, which is basically just a mantra from the universe, God, your higher self, your spirit guides, whatever you believe. It's just something that you can say to yourself when you're meditating or just something that you need to hear right now. And yours is 
I am deserving of respect, love, and happiness. I give respect, love, and happiness too. I love that. I just feel like this relationship is going to be built on such a mutual respect and love for the other person. Ugh, I really love that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if you're looking for more um, specific guidance, personal guidance, I do personal readings. So you can DM me on any of my platforms listed below in the description box. Or you can email me and I will let you know more about that. But thank you so much for watching. All right, group four, this is your reading for the month of August. If you chose the raw citrine, so pretty. I love this crystal. It's very sun energy, which reminds me of fire signs, which reminds me of Leo season, which we are in right now. So I definitely like that crystal a lot for this reading specifically. All right, so there's definitely something I've already picked up on just from looking at the cards and I want to make it um, a point to say that some of you could be getting married right now um, or you're engaged. I definitely see that with the lover's card and the seven of cups. All right, so I just wanted to point that out really quick that this could definitely be for those of you who are getting married. Um, to start, I pulled the High Priestess first. Let's see if I can grab it with these nails. The nails make it so difficult. <laughs> and the High Priestess is all about um, spirituality. It's all about intuition, wisdom courage, things like that, but it also, in this sense, oh, sorry, <laughs> in this sense, when I'm talking about a possible um, wedding or marriage, I definitely see, like, the spirituality side of getting married, I know, and I know that this is a general read, so that this may not apply to all of you, um, for those of you who this isn't a wedding, I just want, because I definitely feel like now I'm going to talk about everything as if it is a wedding. But if it's not a wedding, maybe it's a fin financial investment or something very big like a wedding that's happening in your life. Um, and that could mean the, maybe having babies, something big. I definitely feel like something big. But for a lot of you, I definitely feel like it's wedding related, marriage related. Yeah, especially with this card being the first one, it just is very um, grown energy, new phase of your life energy. And with the Seven of Pentacles, the card I pulled right after that, I definitely feel like this is um, regarding financial stability, saving your money yeah I'm definitely getting the idea that I know weddings are costly marriage is expensive getting married is expensive honeymoons are expensive all that having babies is expensive buying a home is expensive whatever big change this is that that represents I know that you are looking to save as much money as possible during this time is what I'm getting from this card and yeah, absolutely. If you can cut some corners and make some things um, happen this month when it comes to your financials, do so. Because I definitely feel like a lot of, um, especially with this next card, which is mostly where I'm getting this. This card is all about deception and tricks, trickery, the Seven of Swords. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like a lot of venues... Um, 
gosh, um, catering. They're going to try to swindle you. If it's a baby or a house, I just feel like some some people are going to try to take advantage of the fact that you are about to spend a good amount of money. And I think you just, this is definitely a warning this month to look out for those deceptions, especially since this is at the center of the read. Definitely look out for those deceptions. Save your money where you can because I think it will work out for you better in the long run. Obviously, but... I think sometimes we lose sight of that. We want things to be perfect so bad that we forget that we also don't want to go broke <laughs> after, you know, um, a baby is born or getting married or buying a home, things like that. We don't want to be so deceived by the glitz and the glamour that we go broke. So definitely, definitely, definitely be on high alert for deception. People trying to, you know make you feel like you don't have options, put you in a corner, you do have options. You don't have to pick whatever plans they give you if this is a wedding. Um, things like that. You can definitely find something for cheaper is what I'm hearing. So, oh yeah, but the Nine of Wands right after this is a perfect example. She sits and she waits. She has patience for the right opportunities to come along. She's not quick to decide on a deception. She's willing to wait for the right opportunity, the right moment to make these expenses. Yeah, wait until you feel clarity. Wait until you feel really secure with whatever um, is being offered to you before you commit to it. Gosh, maybe this could be some of you getting engaged. Um, or maybe some of you are going to get engaged. You really want to be clear and certain <laughs> before you make any kinds of commitments. You, of course, want to be clear and certain because it, you know, every stage of your life is going to be, is going to come with a lot of expenses and you don't want to go broke or be deceived. Especially not during, you know, things that are supposed to be happy and loving exciting things you don't want to feel you know like you've been manipulated so definitely be on high alert for that because people will do that to you and most likely since this is an august reading it's something that could be happening this month with the lover's card that's where i really felt like this was about marriage or an engagement but it also could be about starting a family moving into a home Things like that with your significant other. So I definitely feel that there's something to be really happy about here. This is just a warning I feel for you. King of Cups is very compassionate, loving energy. I feel like this relationship is a very loving, exciting, beautiful one. He is one foot in the water, one foot on land, symbolizing... um. A sense of reality, but also a sense of fun, a sense of excitement, and um, idealism. <laughs> I feel like this relationship is a very healthy, very balanced, very good relationship. I love that card. Could also symbolize water signs. Maybe you or your significant other is a water sign. I also see a lot of earth here. Maybe you're an earth sign, they're an earth sign, things like that could be possible. So water signs are um, Pisces, Cancer, um, Scorpio. I am a water sign, that took me a minute. <laughs> um, or earth signs, so uh, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, for those of you. Or in relationship. All right. Two of pentacles. Yeah. This goes back to that deception. You're going to be dealt some choices with your money that you're going to have to make. But I, I think I already met, kind of went over this. Don't feel stuck. Don't let anybody convince you that there's not another option. And not, not another option on catering. Not another option on the venue. Things like that. You always have an option. 
maybe, especially since we're in COVID season, maybe venues are not letting you get your money back or catering's not letting get you get your money back, things like that. I definitely feel like there is a way to get your money back or redistribute your money if some of you are struggling with that. I think there's, I think what I'm hearing is that there's always a way to make something work. You just have to not be put in the corner of deception and really go with your gut, your intuition on this one. You know what choices you really have. So you just have to make them. Yeah, I definitely feel that really strongly. And that you will save your money. You're not going to come out of this broke. So as long as you hold fast to your intuition and know what your choices are, really, really look at your options, you're going to come out um, just fine. Truly, I truly believe that for you with whatever expense this is. Seven of Cups is the last tarot card I pulled for you. And this is all about imagination, um, excitement, fairy tale endings, things like that. She's flying on a dragon <laughs> with a rainbow flying behind her. And it really does, the card itself really does mean that. So yeah, whatever this is, I definitely feel that it is going to end just how you want it to end. So enjoy the process because it's going to be a long one and it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to navigate it and to make these choices, but in the end it will be a very fairy tale ending <laughs> for sure. And what I love is that you actually have three sevens. You drew three sevens in your reading, which everyone knows what three sevens means. It means you hit the jackpot. So I definitely feel that for you. Um, all right, and on to your astrology card. Your astrology card, I basically just pulled this to give me um, planetary energies, zodiac signs, or timelines. And for yours, I pulled a planetary energy of Pluto. Pluto is all about death and rebirth. For those of you who are having babies, this is exactly what it means. It just means the birth of something new and the end of an old life. So that an old you, if you're getting married, it's the birth of a new marriage and the old you, a death of the old you. Maybe if you're moving into a house, it's the, you know, the end of you living at home or living with friends or whatever it is and moving in with, you know, your significant other or what have you and it's really good energy it's energy of excitement and starting brand new a new level a new chapter of your life all right and for your last card this card is basically a mantra from your spirit guides your higher self god the universe whatever you believe and it's just something that you can say to yourself when you're meditating or just something that you need to hear right now. Yours is, Ooh. I have confidence in myself. I am ready for everything that life offers me. I definitely feel like you're going to have to be put in a situation where you're going to have to be confident in your choices so that you don't get deceived this month for sure. Whatever this big transition in your life is you're definitely going to be faced with some some deception some manipulation and you just need to stand strong in your intuition and make the choices that you need to make for yourself for yourself for your significant other for your family whatever it is be strong and confident in your decisions whatever they may be and if you need any um personal guidance Feel free to DM me. My socials will be below. You can also email me. That will be below in the description. I do private readings. So if you want more in-depth information, I know this is a general reading and that this is a very specific read for a general reading. Um, if you need more clarity though, feel free to DM me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great month of August.